Emacs comes bundled with a lot of functionality, but even more is available and waiting to be installed by you. To see a list of the available packages, use MetaX List Packages. This is a list of packages that are available to you, and also a list of those that were included with the version of Emacs you installed. Say, for example, that you wanted to install the latest version of the popular org mode. You could move your cursor to the line it's on, press return, and then move your cursor to install and press return again. Answering yes to the prompt will download the package and do any setup necessary for it. There. That was easy enough, but the default list of packages isn't very large. Let's fix that by adding another package archive. Rather than browse through all of the available customize options, we can instead use customize group to jump right to the group that we want to customize, in this case, package. Now let's take a look at package archives. And here we see that Emacs, by default, is configured to use GNU's ELPA, or Emacs Lisp Package Archive. Currently, the most complete and active package archive is MELPA. So let's add it as another source of packages. I'll click on Installing to see their recommended instructions. But rather than following them, I'm just going to take the URL for the package archive. Then. In Customize, we'll insert a new entry. We'll call it MELPA. And here, I'll paste in the URL. Let's save this for future sessions. And now, let's try List Packages again and see what we get. Now, there are a lot more packages available. And there was a note earlier in the mini buffer that one package is available for upgrade. So you can press Shift U to mark any packages available for upgrade for upgrading, and then press X to execute the action. In this case, Emacs thinks there's an upgrade for org, possibly from a newer version once we added Melpa. So I'll install that now. Then I'll confirm that I want to delete the older package that I installed from the GNU ELPA repo. And we can safely ignore the warnings in the compile log. My main motivation for installing packages was to get more themes. You can see the themes that are available just by doing a search. And once a search has succeeded, you can press Control S again to move to the next match. And in this way, you can move through the entire buffer looking at all the themes that are available. I personally like the solarized color theme, but I'm going to avoid this one here because it's using an old color theme system, which has been superseded in later versions of Emacs. I'll instead look for another solarized here. And I can install it more quickly by pressing I and then X. By default, Solarized has given me the light version. So I'll use Customize Themes to switch to the dark version here. Emacs is warning me that a theme can execute arbitrary code. But since I blindly trust others for my safety and security, I'll just proceed and mark this safe for future sessions. Now let's save these theme settings, and then see what's happened to our .emacs file. Well, our theme is now solarized dark, 
Some annotation, presumably of the hash of the theme, has been added to a whitelist. And you can see from earlier where we added MELPA as an alternate package archive. But notice lower that the theme has misbehaved and wiped out our default face settings. Let's fix that now with Customize Group, Faces. We'll go into Basic Faces and then the Default Face. And we'll remove the foreground and the background. And everything else looks right. So let's save that. Back in our Emacs file, things look correct again. Let's say that at this point you restarted your computer, because who would actually shut down an Emacs session? And you start Emacs again, and you notice that it seems like the theme hasn't been saved, but it's in our .emacs file. Well, what's happening here? is that packages get initialized after the .emacs file is read. So when Emacs evaluates line 7 here and tries to set the theme to solarize dark, it can't find it because that theme hasn't been loaded from a package yet. To fix that and make sure that all of our installed packages are available for this file, at the top we can add package initialize. Let's save that and start Emacs again. And now the theme is loaded correctly. Before we go, I want to install two more packages. One of them is Melpa, which will provide some additional functionality and fixes for packages in the MELPA archive. So I've marked that for installation with I. The next is that I want my Emacs to have more NyanCat. So I'm going to install that as well by marking it with I. And now press X to install both packages. Now that I've installed Nyan mode, it's not active by default, but I can use MetaX Nyan mode to activate it. Now we can fly through the package list with NyanCat. So much better than that boring scroll bar on the left. Packages that you've installed like this have just as much power as the ones that came built in with Emacs. For example, they can add their own customized settings Let's see if NyanCat provides any for us to change. Let's try setting Nyan Wavy Trail. We'll set it to Enabled, and then save it for future sessions. Now, back in the package list, NyanCat in Emacs is more faithful to the original animation. But packages aren't just limited to changing colors and appearances in Emacs. Have a look through yourself. If you install some packages you don't want or things get really messed up, you can always just remove .emacsd Elpa. Thanks for watching.